about the good cause these ice divers are supporting in the process. With nine inches of ice on Lake Minnetonka, every cut, every chip, every crack, every frigid wave brought founder Bill Wenmark's dream closer to becoming reality. I had a dream, you know, 25 years ago that this was going to happen. But what's important is dreams don't come true unless people show up. By 8.30 this morning, hundreds had, with their bathing suits, towels, and nerves of steel ready to take the plunge. For Ernie Schroeder, it's New Year's tradition. Well, this will be the 25th, yeah. For his grandson, Colton, it's just scary. First time this year, kind of freaking out, but... Yeah, definitely freaking out. One, two, three, go! But he didn't freeze from fear. Lake Minnetonka did that. As soon as I hit the water, I was like, what am I doing right now? But made it out alive. But still, why do people do this? It could be the thrill. I've had a life of uh, being too responsible. <laughs> All the endorphins or whatever you want to call them. Dorphamine uh, uh, kicking in and you feel pretty good. One, two, three, in the hole. Knowing money from the event goes to local groups who really need it, like the fire department, makes divers feel even better. Which is perhaps one of the reasons why every year more and more people put on their bathing suits, get in line, stand on the edge of the icy water, drop that bathrobe, and jump right in. I'm not one of those people. I'm going to stand right here and cheer them on. And of course, for Wenmark, it's a dream come true. It's really special to me. It's a 25 years is a long time and what we've been able to do with it, but it doesn't happen unless people show up. In Excelsior, Jennifer Ann Wilson, 5 Eyewitness News. Well, fans of the old Mets,